this video, we'll talk about an example development of business rules. We'll start with implementing and evaluating policy rules, and then we'll go into data-driven variable and split selection, followed by treatment assignment. As you implement your decision rules, your policy rules, it's helpful to look at the data and actually see if the policy rules are really the best thing you can be doing. In some cases, the policy rules are hard and fast, something you can't change. In other cases, they might be changeable based on what you see in the data. In this example, we have two policy rules, loan to value ratio at 100% and debt to income ratio at 45%. We're looking at two different outcomes, bad rate and average revenue. If you knew that the debt to income ratio split could potentially be changed, one of the things that you can do is look at the splits that the data wants to give you in addition to the policy rule that you have. In this case, we see that the segment between 34 and 45% is just as bad with the probability of zero as high as the split over 45%. This might cause us to question our decision rule or policy rule, but we also could see that 20.5% of the population is in that split. So if we were to take an action such as declining them, that would have a sizable impact on our approval rate. All of this information is useful as you question your policy rules. Once your policy rules are implemented, then what you have is the potential population that you might use data analysis to make decisions. First of all, start with the variables that you're using today and take a look at the existing splits in comparison to the splits that the data wants to give you to see if they potentially should be changed. Don't be afraid to explore additional variables that you might have available at time of implementation. You might find that there are other variables that are more predictive than those that you're already using. In addition to the variable importance, it's important to look at the pattern. In this case, we're looking at the latest custom application score. The pattern as it relates to bad rate is that as the score goes up, the bad rate goes down. The pattern as it relates to revenue is, as the score goes up, the revenue goes down. That's not necessarily a desirable pattern as it relates to revenue. It might be interesting to surf across the other variables that you have available and see if you can find one that's just as predictive but potentially has a pattern in the right direction. Here we see another variable where the average revenue goes up as the score goes up. That might be more attractive although, of course, it depends how predictive it is. So you're choosing variables based on the distribution of the splits, the pattern, and their performance on a variety of business outcomes. You might start with the variables finely split out, or you might let the software choose the best splits for you. It's totally up to you. You can group them manually, or you can let the software do it. Once you have your segmentation done, you'll want to assign treatment. The treatment is an action that you would consider taking on that segment of accounts. Typically, the treatment is based on a combination of policy and performance. Here, we're looking at bad rate as well as average revenue, and we're assigning a variety of origination decision treatments. You might look at both performances. In this case, we're accepting people with fairly low revenue and giving them the best APR. That might not be too desirable. As you review the effect of your treatment, you can summarize up to the treatment level and look at both bad rate as well as average revenue or any other performances that you have available. You're encouraged to join the FICO Analytic Cloud Analytic Community. Test out your ideas with others or ask them questions as you develop your business rules.